You're a smart person and you have some incredible insights. But if you don't communicate well, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Nothing happens. And I didn't say that, Warren Buffett did. And he's right, because impact equals insight times communication. And in this video, I'll teach you a simple but powerful framework. It will light up your insights so that people cannot ignore them. No more winking in the dark. Imagine you're at the coffee machine and a marketing manager walks by and says, hey, how is the churn analysis going? You've done the work, you've looked at the numbers, but now you have got two ways to respond. Yeah, I ran a few models uh, using sign-up source, device type and plan, uh, looking at the correlations uh, between uh, usage and retention. They nod politely. All right, thanks and move on. And that's what happened when you focus on how you did the work. And if you spill some, some water or coffee. So yeah, that's what happens when you focus on how you did the work instead of why it matters. So let's try that again. We found that most users churn by day three. There are about 40% of new signups and we're losing around 800 customers a week. That's why I recommend sending a personalized email about one, two days after sign up, showing them the benefits and giving them a reason to stay. Now you've got their attention because you didn't just give the data, you gave them a decision. Let's break it down. Step number one, watch. That is your insight, not the process, not the setup, just the headline. Most users churn by day three. It's clear, it's specific, and it makes people want to lean in. Step number two, the so what. This is where you connect your insights to the business impact. There are 40% of new signups and we're losing 800 customers a week. Now the problem has weight. It's not just a small problem, it's a lot of customers. Step number three, now what? Now you guide them to the next steps. I recommend sending a personalized email one or two days after sign up, showing the benefits and giving them a reason to stay. It's not just analysis, it's a clear next step. Even if your insight is brilliant, if you present it the wrong way, people tune out. Imagine you have gold in your hands, but you wrap it in a crumpled paper bag, like this. That's what most data presentations are like. Great insights, but poor packaging. And with the what, so what, now what framework, you're wrapping your insight in a way that people actually want to open and use and act on. And it doesn't just apply meetings. Let's say you're sending an email, a stakeholder asks for delivery data. Here's what many data professionals do. Hi John, here's the delivery data you asked for. Gilbert, good luck John. Here's a better way. Hi John, I looked into the delivery data and here's what I found. Delivery times are 8% slower this quarter. It doesn't sound like much, but more and more loyal customers are walking away. And the biggest delays are in the products we make most profit on. That's why I recommend prioritizing delivery for those products, even if it means paying extra on logistics. Let me know if you want to discuss. It's using the same structure. The what, what happens? The so what, why it matters to them? And the now what? your recommendation or your suggested next steps. And of course, not in every situation you can give a very clear recommendation, but always highlight some options because it's your job as a data professional to create some momentum to some action and some decisions. So whether you're talking, typing, or dropping insights into a Teams chat, always guide your audience because your insight is only as good as your communication. And communication is key. But it's not just about presenting your data clearly. If you want to get ahead of 99% of data professionals, watch this video. I will reveal three skills and practical tips that will make your work impossible to ignore. And no, it's not about learning Python. It's something completely different. See you in the next one.